Hello, Days of Our fans. This is for Tuesday, September 17th, and what a episode it was. Gabby tries to get her some more loving uh, from EJ, but he tells her neither one of them should be doing that, and he turns her away. Meanwhile, Stefan calls up Paulina and gives her a bunch of information on EJ and how he knew about the baby stealing and stuff of Sloan and wants her to fire him. Roman approaches Ava about she's got a lot of rent past due, but he says she can have her job back there at the pub if she wants it, so she starts working. And her first customer is Stefan, who tells her now he don't give a big rat's butt what Ab Gabby thinks, and he can she can come back to work at the bistro, and, you know, he can pay her a lot better. She didn't say whether she was going to take this job or not, but I bet she will. Okay, hold on to your seat belts. You're going to need it in the next few minutes. Um, so Paulina goes to fire EJ, and he tells her, you know, I just slept with his wife, so he's out for revenge. So she, she stops herself before she gets herself in a mess. And uh, she's telling him, well, you know, I don't want to look foolish because he told her, you're going to look foolish if you do this. Now, you don't want to look foolish. He just wants revenge. Meanwhile, Rafe and um, what's her name? She had his girlfriend here, Jada. They are putting pieces and parts together, and Rafe says he remembers a woman's voice, and what she said, you know, that empty grave is the worst of your problem, is the least of your problems. And he says he doesn't think that it was uh, Bobby. They put two and two together, and they have figured out that it is Crazy Connie. Now they got to get everybody alerted. And Crazy Connie's going off on Melinda, who's trying to get on her best side, but she lets Melinda know, it is time. You're going to have to die now. And Melinda had been slowly sawing her ropes loose. She comes at her at a knife. With a knife, Linda jumps. Belinda, Melinda, whoever she is, she jumps up and grabs the knife from her or tries to. She tries to get out the door, but she comes up behind her, hits on their head, and that's her blood on the door there. Jada goes over to the apartment with another officer. They find blood on the carpet. Uh, they're, she's calling out, uh, you know, where anybody is, and she goes in the bedroom and says, oh my God, and I don't know what's in there. Meanwhile, Crazy Connie goes over to Gabby's, and Rafe is trying to call Gabby to warn her about her psycho assistant. And Gabby comes in. Oh, hi, Connie. Oh, there's my phone. I was looking for it. And she says, so your brother's awake. And she says, yeah. And she said, does she have any, mem have any memories of who did this to him? And she said, no. And uh, Connie said, well, good. He won't be pointing the finger at me. And she said, why would he point the finger at you? And she said, oh, because I'm the one that stabbed him. And I'm the one that killed Lee. And I also killed Bobby. And she said, and you're next. And she pulls the knife out of her purse. So I don't know if she's going to make Gabby go with her somewhere or what's going to happen, but it is going down. They bought Rafe and Jada already figured out it was Connie. Are they too late? Is Melinda strung up like a pig? Please subscribe, like, and, sh and share if you know someone who likes the show. Thanks for watching.